Do 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 do. Ah, I need a box. I need a box, a box. A lovely, lovely box. This isn't even. Oops. Oh crap. No. No. Come back. No. No. Must get Boom Beach on here. And Clash of Clans on there. There we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. Sweet. Well, as soon as I saw that, uh, as soon as I saw bowling was ready, I had to start streaming, man, right away. Don't want to keep, I don't want to keep you waiting, man. <clears throat> I got a couple of replays before I actually, uh, we do these, uh, these live attacks. I got some replays to show you guys. Some pretty, uh, pretty good replays, actually. And one good one, one really good one on, uh, Boom Beach. Oh, I know we're doing Clash of Clans, but I'm going to show you this one replay on Boom Beach. It's pretty awesome. Mm. Yeah. Oh man, sorry. Oh. And it's gonna what? Nineteen minutes. I got nineteen minutes. Oh, I don't like this. I'm doing all right. How are you guys doing? I don't. I never put my headset on for these. I just turn the volume down. Um, it's kind of pointless to have. <clears throat> All right, Sand. Sounds good. It's kind of pointless to to have volume on in these games. I mean, I have it on like minimal for you guys, but I never really, I never really have the volume on when I'm playing Clash of Clans or Boom Beach. So I got my uh, my phone here too. Right? So, I've got Boom Beach on my phone right now. And, uh, what? Oh my god. Don't make me time you out, Hyper. <laughs> so I've got Boom Beach on my phone because I am three diamonds short of doing an upgrade with gold. And I'm trying to make sure I don't get attacked. So I gotta wait until my gold, uh, until I get some more gold. Generated. How many more walls? Well, I'll go through that. I'll go through that with you guys. Um, and I'll explain exactly what we're going to do. So, All right, so I'm going to show you this one replay. It's pretty good. Um, is Harris in here? Harris isn't in here, is he? Hmm. Because Harris had a request. Uh... Wow. Okay. No, honestly, honestly, Joey, I do. N I never go on Facebook. Uh, I know I post, like, I auto post tweets to Facebook, but I am never on Facebook. I, I can't stand Facebook. Um, who am I yelling at? I'm not yelling at anybody. Thanks. <laughs> um, no, I never go into Facebook. I just, I don't like it. Uh, so, it's best if you get a hold of me on Twitter. I don't read anything on Facebook at all. It's just an auto-posting of everything that we do on, uh, Twitter, so. <clears throat> hmm. Nice. Okay, so you guys want to take a look at this? This was for, um, well, it was kind of for Harris, but I wanted to do it anyway. Uh, it was an attack with the... We did uh, we did Sniper Elite V2 Norwegian. We got uh, all the videos are on our main channel, Next Gen Tactics. So, so I'm gonna show you this replay. It's a uh, it's a Valkyrie Valkyrie replay, and I don't know why. You know, <clears throat> I can kind of understand. <clears throat> I can kind of understand. No, there's no special boost event. Yes, I do reply on Twitter. Um, so I can kind of understand the complaints about the Valkyrie. So if we take a look at uh, the Valkyrie, right, info. I mean, it costs 70, 70 Dark Elixir 
to train one Valkyrie, and the training time is long, man. That's 15 minutes, 15 minutes uh, training time for the Valkyrie, and she takes up eight housing space. So, yes, my base does look like a spider. Thanks. <laughs> I think that was intentional. Um. No, I'm not going to gem my golems. No, 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 no. Um, so I think the training time alone really kills the Valkyrie, in my opinion. Um, she's not so bad. I, I And I'm only at level one. I haven't upgraded her. But uh, we're going to take a look at a replay, okay? So here's a replay. Uh, so I trained up 15 Valkyries. I had uh, 80 archers. The extra nine were from the clan castle. Uh, and then let's just show, I'll show you the replay. And I kind of, <clears throat> Valkyrie, how would you call, how, what, how, how do you pronounce Valkyrie then? Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Valkyrie or Valkyrie? I think it's, I don't know, freak. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, okay, so the way I approached it, I've never used, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna call it Valkyrie. Okay. I've never used Valkyries before, um, so the way I approached it was okay. Let's sort of use the Valkyries in place of <clears throat> in place of the barbarians on my barch my barcher attacks. Okay. So this is what I did. Let's take a look at the re the replay. And I picked I picked the Town Hall Eight base to go after. So I spread them out. I brought them all in at the same time. The Valkyries. And then I brought in my archers and behind them. And, uh, like, look at these fuckers go. They're just stupid. hi yo hi yo yo I do to my spinning attack! Yes, just like that! Look at them go, man. Um, I'm, I think, I, I don't know, are they more effective in a group? I don't, I didn't want, really want to group them up just because of splash damage, etc. But they do take a lot of damage. They, they do have a lot of hit points. And, uh, you'll see, like, the, the wizard tower actually doesn't do a lot to them. Right, the wizard tower is not taking their, down their uh, their health that much, so I don't think the splash damage really has that big of an impact on them. But uh, they go to town in the walls. Obviously, we got to get through the walls, so I'd, I'd probably consider training an army with uh, a few wall breakers as well uh, for next time, possibly. But I don't really foresee doing that until we get to level two. So they're still going to town. They're going to town on the gold storage and uh, my archers. I still have a bunch of archers in on that town hall. So, I'm pretty close to getting the Town Hall, actually. And I still have my, at this point, I still have my Barbarian King and my Clan Castle troops. So I brought brought down uh, one Lightning Spell to take out the uh, Town Hall. And then watch what happens when I bring down two more Lightning Spells on those inner defenses. And I completely destroy them. Because I'm, I'm, I'm figuring at this point, I'm thinking, is it Town Hall 7? Oh, whatever. Town Hall 8, Town Hall 7. Anyways. So I brought, I take, I take out all the defenses and um, bring in my Barb King, and then I bring in my Clan Castle troops and we just destroy the rest of the base. So, um, that's it. So I don't know, they're not too bad. I mean, again, level one Valkyries. Yeah, sure, it's a, it's a, it's a Town Hall level seven base, but um, let me just go take a look here. Visit this guy. Yeah, so it's only a Town Hall level 7. What's he doing up at 1934? Anyways, whatever. Um, so I, I thought I thought they weren't bad. They weren't too bad, especially at level 1. They did all right, didn't they? Didn't they? Well, they don't necessarily outclass giants. They don't go after defenses, right? They don't go after defenses, so... Um, I, I don't think they're bad, though. Like, why are they bad? Because... Because they don't go after defenses, I, 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 I think I, I don't think they're too bad. I really don't. That's just me. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to. Um... What? Oh. So I'm gonna switch over to Boom Beach for a second here, and I'm gonna show you a replay on Boom Beach, which was pretty epic. So here I am. Um... You can be attacked if online in 20 minutes, 5 seconds. And let me collect however much gold I can off these guys. You notice my uh, gold count. My gold count is at uh, 615,000. 
Well, I want to do an upgrade. Oh my god, I'm one diamond off, so I gotta wait for a little bit more gold. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Oh, yeah, if they went after defenses... If Valkyries only went after defenses, I think they'd be OP. I think they'd probably be overpowered. Um, and, you know, had I used wall breakers on that base, like, they would have just wrecked it. They would have wrecked it at level 1. I know, I know it was a Town Hall 7 base, but still... I still think they would have uh, they would have wrecked it. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you this replay. It's in uh, video format, so let me bring it up for you guys. Okay, let me just make sure it fits the screen. There we go. All right. So here's a replay. Let me move this over a little bit. This is a pretty freaking hilarious replay. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> so there's this base here, right? Look at the resource resource reward: 180,000 gold. Um, so he's got a uh, rocket launcher in the back of his base. He's got um, a boom cannon. I don't know why the video is like that, but don't worry if there's lag. It's a little bit on my end with the uh, the video on top of the um, on top of the uh, PBR software. So I'm just scouting it out. Actually, here, let me uh, fast forward a little bit. Just taking a look at his stuff. I mean, he's got a lot of defenses here. Oh, okay. So here's the attack. Here's the attack. So I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out that uh, rocket launcher, and I took the building out at the same time, so it's taken out. And then I'm gonna try and take out uh, the boom mines, obviously. One with artillery, and the second with a barrage. And then we're gonna bring our troops in. But just wait; it gets it gets pretty good. It gets pretty good here. <laughs> just watch what happens. Oh God. So I'm using um, my ar my typical army of uh, six heavies, 15 riflemen, and 14 zookas. All right, and I'm just letting them go to town here, trying to heal them up a little bit. My zookas, yeah, unfortunately my zookas got out of place a little bit. That MG at the bottom was going after my zookas, and uh, actually there were a couple of riflemen, and I think uh, yeah they hit a couple of those uh, those mines, unfortunately. Uh, and then you watch the, the mortar on that left. The mortar is going to take out quite a few troops. So we got a lot of the base cleared out. We still have a lot of defenses here, though. And uh, we got that boom cannon in the back. So just keep watching. <laughs> so there goes the cannon. There goes the uh, flamethrower. And now I don't have any energy. All I have is one flare that I can use, and that's it. So just check it out. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. I got three Zookas left. Oh, wait. I got one Zooka left. Look at how much health that Zooka has. I got one. I have one Zooka left. And he's she's out of range of everything. But look at how much health she has left. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And I still have over two minutes. So... <laughs> Oh my god. That was pretty good. I gotta admit, that was pretty good. That's like the slimmest... The slimmest margin of... Of destroying this base that you could get. I'm just doing a replay on Boom Beach. We're gonna get back to, uh... We're gonna get back to, uh... Clash here in a minute. So what do you guys think about that? No, no, I'm not going to be bouncing back. S Suli, you don't know that. I'm only showing the replay and then we're going to be all clash. I'm not going to be bouncing back and forth. It's just the video playback that's lagging. There. Look at that. How do you like that? Friggin' probably like 
Less than 5% health left in that Zuka, and we take down, we took down that uh, base for uh, that many resources. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. All right, so we're gonna go back to. Uh, <sighs> we'll go back to Clash here in a second. I'm just trying to start this uh, this upgrade before I go off of Boom Beach, so I don't lose my gold from an attack. Damn it! Still need ten or eleven diamonds. I only have ten. No, uh, Junior Exterminate. I've never done that. Okay, so, and again, guys, just bear with me for, like, a couple minutes. Just until I can get this upgrade going. Oh, come on, man. I got 13 minutes left. All right. Well, I can switch it off to my phone. I mean, go to, uh, we go to uh, Clash. No, I, I did check the map. I did, dude. Guys, guys, come on, come on. I might be a noob, but I'm not that big of a noob. I did check. There are no, there are no diamond chests on the map. <laughs> Trust me. I checked. Okay, I checked. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty good. Um, I thought that was a pretty good replay on the uh, on the Valkyries. Not bad. Had a pretty bad uh, bad attack right there for minus twenty seven. Unfortunately, my defenses. See my um, my base configuration is pretty good, man. Like these last four attacks. I mean, I haven't been. When was the last time I got three starred? It's been like forever. When was the last time I got three starred on my base? Uh, never. <laughs> it's been more than 15 days, more than two weeks, than I've been three starred on my base. Right? And and look at uh, look at how much dark elixir I've lost. One attack, 734, 172, 10. And I've had a lot of Dark Elixir. I mean, that one, I think that 1547 was when I was, uh, before I started upgrading my, um, my, uh, my golems. So I had probably 50, you know, 40, 50,000 in my storage. But they're not getting to my, they're not getting to my Dark Elixir, right? Which is what you want. So I got my Town Hall up there. They go after my Town Hall and they're going after the Elixir because I have a ton of Elixir. A ton of Elixir. Well, I can check. I'll check the uh, the map and see if there's a, a chest. I don't think so. I mean, I did just check before I started streaming. There is no chest. Nope. No such luck, man. Let me just collect here. We will get started with the uh, the rating here in a moment. Village lost. Come on, baby. Nice. Okay. My upgrade's going, so we're good. Wow. It actually it jumped from 11 to 9 diamonds for some reason. Alright, so let me plug this in. Okay, so now we can put our full attention here on Clash. Um, what do we have left in our spells? 26 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to start recording. <clears throat> Go to a town hall now. Wait. Now. Info. Now. X. Now. All right, cool. So volume loves all right for you guys. All right. 
What's up guys? Spider here. We got some Clash of Clans coming at you today. We're going to be doing some uh, boosted, quote-unquote, boosted rating. Uh, rating. And uh, I do have, I'm just looking at my walls, I have 46 walls left to upgrade here to level 8 on my Town Hall 8. And then I'll be done my walls and I have only one more upgrade on my Valkyrie. Alright, so what I want to do, and uh, I know we, we've been talking in videos and in chat and, and comments, etc., about gemming and how, you know, I'm very much against gemming. However, connection loss, seriously? Uh, however, one thing that I'm going to, that I, I thought about today and, and I'm going to throw it out to you guys and, and maybe up for consideration is, well, what if I just gemmed, um, like, my barracks, etc., to do some rapid rating and i know i did some rapid rating uh, a rapid rating video a little while ago but that was basically cutting out all the in between time okay uh, i'm talking about using my gems and i have 633 that's just ba you know gotten from or obtained from achievements and from clearing out the base um so i can use them without actually buying gems but do you think it would be okay because I am against, you know, gemming and instant, uh, you know, instant walls and instant resources. But gemming my barracks and my spell factory and my barbarian king for faster recovery and faster army training uh, and spell regeneration. So I'm going to put that out to you guys. Leave a comment what you guys think. I'm going to do it today, obviously, because I have enough gems to do it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to boost this right now I'm gonna use 10 gems and then I'm gonna boost each of these guys and then we're just gonna raid like crazy okay uh, and I will boost my barbarian king when we actually use him and he needs to recover okay so let's do it so we're just gonna find some bases now the goal here is um, I want to build up I want to build up my trophies as well as get some resources, okay? So gold and dark elixir. I don't care about... Or sorry. Yeah, I don't care about regular elixir. Um, and I'm going to attack bases like this, okay? Because I can. Um, uh, I'm, I'm obviously looking for bases that are Town Hall 9 or lower. And even even then, with the uh, the Town Hall 9 bases, they got to be sort of on the, on the lower end of bases. And he does have a dragon here, so I'm going to throw in a few extra archers down here. So the goal is to 50% these bases, all right? Um, so I think we can do that. Basically send in our archers, and then um, if we do need to bring in our clan castle troops, we'll do that. Uh, if we do need to bring in my barbarian king, then I'll do that as well. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to bring in something here. Let's bring in the clan, clan castle troops, and we'll bring in my barbarian king to go right here. Right. And if we need to use our um, any lightning spells, we'll also do that. So Barbarian King should be able to, to wreck these guys to uh, to 50%. Yeah, and then I'm just going to end it there, so it's going to reduce the training time for the King. All right. So I can request some new troops, and then I can gem this guy, so he heals quite a bit faster. Look at that! Look at that timer go. Okay. So what I'm going to do for this in between time, because I'm recording this live. Um, yeah, I know. I, I, I just try to, you know, when I try to put my troops down, I use like eight fingers. <laughs> so I try to, I try to drop them in and around the screen with like, yeah, all my fingers. So I do invariably hit some places where I can't deploy my troops. <laughs> so whatever, whatever we're going to do, that's, that's, that's why that happens. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to use for this in-between time while these troops are training, uh, if you guys have any questions on the live stream that you want me to answer, then I can answer them in-between this time while we're waiting. Um, and we can look at... Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can look at. Uh, just to give you an update on my base while we're waiting for some questions. If we go here, we can remove all. I've got 46, 46 walls left to upgrade to level 8. Right? So obviously 23 million... 23 million gold to generate. Um, I'm five days, four hours away from getting my golems to level two. And then I probably will uh, upgrade my Valkyries. I'm about halfway there with my Dark Elixir. Okay? So by the time this other five days, four hours is up, I will be well over 50,000, I think. Uh, and then 
I'm, I am going to upgrade my Valkyrie, and probably at the same time, so five days, four hours from now approximately, I will be initiating the upgrade of my Town Hall level 8 to Town Hall level 9. Uh, and that's when we're going to do, like we're starting right now, and I have started over the past few days, is doing a push also for trophies. So I was down to the low 1800s, so I'm up about 300 trophies uh, since about three days ago. Just slowly but surely, like we're not doing it very rapidly, although we are going to do, be doing that here today. But I am doing that push to see if I can get to 3000 and hopefully beyond that to 3200. But we'll see. Okay? So like I was talking about with my targets, if I see a level 8 or lower town hall, I'm going after that base regardless. Uh, mainly to get the trophies. I know I can take, I know I can take them out. Uh, town hall level 9 bases I'll go after. Uh, pr preferably ones that uh, actually have prob you know, mostly decent rewards as far as uh, resources is concerned. But I'll also look at the level of their defenses. If their defenses are fully upgraded, then, um, then I may not go after a Town Hall 9. I won't go after any Town Hall 10s unless it's a Town Hall Snipe. The reason why, you know what? The reason why I have my Town Hall out on the outside of my base, and we're going to look at my defense log, this is exactly why I have my Town Hall out on the outside of my base. Look at one star, one star, one star, one star, right? All they took was Elixir, 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 Elixir. I don't care. I don't care about Elixir, okay? These are the guys that are going to attack me and give me a free 12-hour shield, essentially. Yes, I'm going to drop trophies, but the incentive is there for them to only one-star me. If I have my town hall on the inside of my base, then the incentive... Maybe these guys, these guys probably wouldn't have attacked me. It would have been somebody on a higher level that is more capable of taking out my entire base. So I'd rather take the one-star loss and then take a little bit of my elixir and just not touch my dark elixir than have my town hall on the inside and get wiped out. Okay? So that's why I do what I do. So let's get these guys um, back up here to 75. And then we'll do another uh, another attack. Yeah, my, uh, my, uh, yeah, nice. Should I wait? Um, let's just wait for this, uh, this spell to finish so we have two spells. Yeah, we'll have two spells available to us. We don't have our Barbarian King, but we should have our Barbarian King on the next attack. All right? Come on! Look at that timer, right? I mean, four times the speed. If we look at, uh, the, the, um... The spell factory with the uh, the lightning spells. It's normally 30 minutes, but four times speed. We're getting one every seven and a half minutes. So let's attack. Do, 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 do. Okay, skip that. I probably, you know, unless there there are a lot of resources in the town hall nine, I'm gonna stick to the town hall eight and below bases. Unless I see a town hall snipe on on a higher level base. I think I think for now anyway. There are still quite a few town hall eight bases up here that we can attack. The Town Hall 10s, the reason why I don't want to attack the Town Hall 10s is because uh, they have so many buildings, like, you'd have to destroy a lot of buildings to get your 50%. I mean, typically buildings would only, some of the buildings would only give you 1% progress to that. So here's one. Now, he's got some pretty good defenses here, though. Um, so I'm gonna draw out the Barb King. Let's draw out the Barb King up here first. And then uh, we'll send in some more troops on him. And then we'll send in everything. And we'll try not to hit any anywhere that uh, where I can't deploy. Or I must select a different unit. Uh, we got... Uh, yeah, let's take out the uh, clan castle troops here, actually. So lightning spell in the clan castle troops. I didn't try and pull out the clan castle troops. Okay. So we got everybody down. I'm going to bring out... I don't know if I'm gonna bring out my clan castle troops. I think we're good. I think we're good on this base, so. 48, 51. There we go. That's all we were looking for. Now, I mean, the nice thing, uh, sometimes you get bases where you're getting, you know, total 14 trophies, or you're getting 15 or 16. This is actually a nice base. Uh, we're getting 27, so because we're only getting one star, though, we're gonna get nine. So that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent for a one star victory, in my mind. And then return home. So we got nine trophies on that. Sweet. All right, let's uh, get these guys going again. 
and uh, we should have our Barb King available for us. We didn't have to use our Clan Castle troops. So, I mean, if you don't have to use them, then don't use them, right? So we still have 18 minutes on our Barbarian King. All right, well, let's see if there's any, uh, there are any questions. A Town Hall snipe is basically like mine. So somebody leaves their Town Hall on the outside, and all you do is attack the Town Hall. You get your one star, and then that's it. That's a Town Hall snipe. All right. Uh, what other questions do we have here? I don't know. We don't really have any questions. No questions at all. I can do a base review of my own base. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to cut, cut uh, some of this out. Clash of Clans 2? I don't see that happening, man. I don't see them coming out with Clash of Clans 2. They'd be, they'd be pillaging their own community. And it's still top. It's still top on the uh, the 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 lists on uh, Apple, on iTunes. What else? What else? Yes, I'm still Town Hall Eight. I'm waiting until all my all my walls are fin are completed upgrading. So. Um. So, why don't I use my elixir? What, what, my elixir? What do you want me to use my elixir on? There's nothing to use it on. I don't have anything available for upgrading uh, for elixir. And I'm level 83. You guys can see that. Yeah, you, uh, I, I guess I can show, uh, while we're waiting, we can show some defense logs. I mean, this one, you know, again, it's just a town hall snipe. Right? So this is the defense. I can show it. Uh, I don't really have any other defenses other than Town Hall snipes. So, I mean, he's just sending in the archers. And my cannons up there really go to town, right? And he does send in some archers. I mean, he's after the uh, the elixir. So that's why he's sending in his archers in to, uh, to get some of those resources. But, again, he can't touch my dark elixir. There's no touching my dark elixir, right? I don't know why he's going after that stuff down at the bottom, but I have no idea. So that was that that was that replay. Alright, so we're almost done here. I'm just gonna refill up on these guys. These guys trained fast, man. <laughs> he got the boost on. I wish they'd have like I, I don't know how often or when exactly they do it, but sometimes they come out and say, Hey, you can boost for one gem for like a day. That would be awesome. Uh, I think that's mostly for the uh, the mines and the collectors, but... Okay, so let's do another attack. Town Hall 10, we have... We still have a Clan Castle troops. So we only have one lightning spell, though, so... We need to be careful. I think I'd only attack... Uh, okay, so here's a lower level base. Let's uh, draw this guy up. I think I'd only attack a, uh, a Town Hall level 9 base if... Uh, If it, uh, if it, uh, if I had more resources, like if I had my Barbarian King and stuff, right? Spam them in, baby. Spam them in. There we go. We should be able to get the 50% quite easily, I would think. There we go, 50%. Yay! Now again, see this is the base, obviously the, the base before this, uh, it was 27 trophies for, for um, defeat. Unfortunately this one's only 14, which means we're only going to get 4 trophies for 50%. And there's really no sense at this point in even letting the battle uh, continue on. I guess for sake of, I mean we're going to have to wait anyway, but I mean we're not going to get anything more out of this base, right? We barely got any gold of that. It's mainly for... I mean, I probably could have skipped that one. I mean, was it really worth it to get those four trophies? I don't know. But, whatever. Any any base, I think, instead of doing base selection, it's just any base that's less than a Town Hall 9, I'll immediately go after, no matter what. I won't even look at the number of trophies available. Okay, you guys want to see another replay of a defense log? Here's a replay with a couple dragons. Let's bring it in. That's a lot of giants up at the top. With healers, 
Watch my, uh... Yeah, they're going... Oh, there's the giant bomb. But he doesn't take out... Like, he didn't consider taking out the uh, air defense, so the air defense goes right to town, at least on that first healer. He's bringing in the, uh, the two dragons. We really gotta get rid of the healer. They're, they're my clan castle troops, so... Uh, I think that's gonna allow my air defense to pretty much take out both dragons as well as the healer, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. So he didn't even make it into the internal area of my base, and that's exactly why... That replay is exactly why I doubled up my walls, right? That's exactly why I doubled up my walls up here, and I doubled up my walls in here. Uh, was exactly to defend against that type of attack. And it was beautiful. It worked out beautifully because he didn't make it into the interior of my base, into here, right? He didn't get at my Dark Elixir, so it was good. It was a good defense. Oh, yeah. Yes, the loot, the loot win bonus. Absolutely. Every time I win, I'm getting... Um, if we look at this, every time I do win, I'm getting 21,000 gold, 21,000 Elixir, and 50 Dark Elixir. Okay? Once I get up to 2,200 trophies, then I'm going to get 34, 34, and 100. And 100. So... Yeah, you, you have to consider that as well. Plus, I'm not spending as much gold in searching for different bases to attack. Whereas, you know, sometimes I've spent upwards of 100,000 plus gold just searching for a decent base to attack. So we're, n we're not having to do that. So our return is a little bit higher than, than it would be normally. Um, obviously, it'd be nice to find those bases that give you 200, 300,000 gold as well as a few thousand dark elixir but they're hard to find sometimes and it also depends on time of day so yeah there's that but we're up to 2146 now it'd be nice to get up to 2200 and get that extra uh win bonus yeah tan man the, the thing is with the double walls um double walls here wall breakers will probably never get to okay uh, and if they do, they're very, very lucky. So the double walls here are very, very important. I, I've never seen an attack where wall breakers got in on these double walls. Okay? Um, e and even up here... Yes, sure, they can they can go with wall breakers up here. I think I've... I don't even think I've ever seen an, a replay with wall breakers going up at that top level either. Uh, and the chances are, it may not even be possible for... Depending on how many troops that they send in... Uh, as well as the wall breakers, that, that the wall breakers might even get taken out before they get to the wall. But, yeah, I mean, on the in the interior of your base, it's maybe, it's not going to be as effective out here against wall breakers, but it'll be much more effective in here against wall breakers. Okay. Alright, so we have our full army now. Let's do another attack. Alright, here we go. So we got another base here. Um, let's draw out, we got 19 trophies. Let's draw out his Barbarian King. Come on, Barb. Come on, Barb. I call you Barb. Can I call you Barb? Yeah, I think so. I think I can call him Barb. All right. Some more guys. I just spam. I just spam. I don't. You know, there's no. Oh, we must place five. Archers here and five archers there. We just spam them in. See what they do, and then, yeah, we're already at 43%. And even though they have the clan castle troops, I'm not going to waste anything on them because I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, he does have some uh, some gold storages on the outside. Here, what do I think I want to do? I almost want to use a lightning spell in his gold storage because I know we're gonna we're we're like our 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 spell factory is boosted. So I'm going to use a um, lightning spell right here and see if I can't get some additional gold. What are we at? 115,000? Yeah, I'll use both of them. What the hell? Yeah, there wasn't even anything in this gold storage. Oh, well. What are you healing? <laughs> the healer's still healing up. Okay, so we'll end that. We got our one star. That's kind of a waste of the spells, but... When I got the, uh, the spell factory boosted, you may as well use them, right? And we had, didn't use our clan castle troops, and... It is almost a waste to have my Barbarian King being boosted here, too. Because I haven't used them. I guess once we use them one time, then it'll be worth it. 
So let's go through, we'll go through another replay. Let's see which ones we have available for you guys. Can we train our troops? Alright, so we saw these two replays. So we've got this one with the minions. 115 archers and 14 minions. Let's check it out. Probably gonna attack from the top, would be my guess. Yep. There's the archers and the minions. And then he's going after the resources. Wow, he's just spamming in those archers, isn't he? There come my clan castle troops. My it's I never have my Barbarian King available. I always go offline after I've run attacks and stuff, and my Barbarian King is always sleeping, so he never gets to def help defend. Let's go to four speed here. So they're really not, he's really not getting anywhere. Again, it's, it's a Town Hall snipe, and then he's sending in the remainder of his troops to try and get some of the resources. And the thing is, because I've been full for so long, because I've been full for, for so long with my elixir storages, um, my elixir collectors actually have a ton of elixir in them. So let's collect off this one and I'll show you. Right? So 6 million won. If we check these other ones, like, look at that. <laughs> as soon as that red disappears, there's 102,000 elixir in that, that store, that collector, right? Um, we're, yeah, these other collectors, right? N that one's not so much. I hate that the red text covers it over. 46,000. So I have a ton of elixir in my, my collectors. So, yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't know. I wish I could tell if somebody attacks me at the same town hall level. I wish I could just instantly tell how much elixir would be available to them. I guess I could tell on the, on the, uh, the replay, right? We do the replay. So on the last one, how much was available? Yeah, it tells you right there. So 472,000. <laughs> didn't even notice that on the other replays. I didn't look at it. So they have 472,000 elixir available for them. And I actually have some in my clan castle too. I have 631,000 in my clan castle. And I haven't collected out of it because what my goal is once I get to Town Hall 9, I want to have 6,001,000 in my storages. I want to have 700,000 here, and I want my collectors to be as full as possible, so I'll have over 7 million elixir to use uh, as soon as we get to our Town Hall 9. How epic is that, huh? And hopefully we can do the same thing with the gold, but... Man, imagine coming across my base, right? My base, and you'll have the potential for upwards of half a million elixir and half a million gold at the same time. Plus, plus however much, um, you know, 2,000 plus dark elixir. My base is going to be like a magnet. A magnet, I say. All right, let's do another attack. We're ready. I'm trying to read the chat as I go, but it's, it's hard to read. And, like, while I'm attacking, I do miss stuff, so I can't answer all the questions. Maybe, um... Maybe the, the mods can put specific questions in the mod chat for me. That would be awesome, please. Uh, we got Town Hall level nines. What do we have? We have a Barb King. We don't have any uh, spells. So I'll try and leave the, uh, the Town Hall nine bases. Like, look at this base. This base is just, whew, damn. But all this gold, everything's in the middle. I almost want to just snipe his his uh, elixir storage. If I wasn't trying to push for trophies, oh, that base is nice. I just and I don't have any lightning spells anyway, so that's unfortunate. Come on. What are my other favorite troops? I mean, hog riders are great, but it just it's just too expensive. They're too expensive. Dark Elixir is that one resource that you're always, always, always in need of for upgrades, right? I'd rather, you know, to train to train a Hog Rider army with other troops um, for an appropriate attack is going to cost me upwards over 3,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, and it's not worth it. It's really not worth it.